Hi all, this is Mr. Yeager for Physical Science. Uh, we're continuing our unit on heat. And, um, yep, we're going to probably have some a little bit of issues today, but that's okay. All right. uh, so we're continuing our uh, talk on heat. This is, is going to be a pretty short little video lecture on uh, heat transfer. In the classroom, whenever I do this, we usually make a little foldable because we just want to compare and contrast the three different ways to transfer heat. And those three ways to transfer heat are conduction, convection, and radiation. Okay, conduction, convection, and radiation. All right, so each one is unique. Each one has its own kind of buzzwords that we can kind of uh, focus on if we're trying to identify what type of transfer is occurring. And in, my, in the classroom, basically kids just make these three little flaps and then uh, put the definitions that follow on um, underneath of them so they can kind of study from there. So here we go. So for conduction, what they should put underneath that flap is conduction is heat transfer by touch. Okay. The, the key word there is touch. All right. The objects have to physically touch another object for the heat to transfer. Okay. So examples I have there is where you physically touch a hot pan. I have my incredible drawing of a hand. I don't know what that looks like. Probably more like an oven mitt. But touching the pot, when you touch something like that, heat is transferring, you, transferring to you by conduction. Jumping into the pool, that example given in the prior lecture on the introduction to heat, um, the idea is the water is physically touching you and you are heating the water around you by conduction. So conduction is heat transfer by touch. Heat transfer by touch. All right. So from there, I actually have to write in the rest. The second one, convection. Convection, all right? Convection primarily occurs in gas and liquids. Basically occurs in gas and liquids. I can't even think of an example where it's gonna occur in the solid. So gas and liquids. And what happens here is it's a circular flow of heat, a circular flow of heat, all right? The key word here is the idea where we, we have this circular motion of heat, all right, uh, moving around and around and around. You probably have seen convection type examples before or diagrams. Convection follows the idea that hot air rises Cool air falls. Okay, cool air falls. But again, this could be liquids as well. This is basically what's happening within a liquid where we're creating this circular motion of heat as it's closer to the heating source and then gets farther away. So, examples of convection is basically your air conditioning. Okay, AC, HVAC units. Okay, um, basically looking at heating and air inside your house. What happens is Basically, you have hot air will rise. Sorry. Okay. Come on, thing. Hot air will rise. Okay. It'll raise to the top. I'm going to raise that. And then the cool air should basically fall back down. Okay. Hot air rises, cool air falls. And it creates this circular type of cycle that occurs for air. Examples of convection, as I already said, AC, HVAC units. Okay? This is why you usually have heating units on the floor. If you have heating units on the ceiling, what happens is you're just heating all that air up top and it stays up top. All right? But if you heat the air on the floor, you heat, that, you heat all that cold air, it'll then rise up above you through the house and then basically fill the house that way. AC units are usually up high and then they basically heat, they cool the air up high and then make it come back down, okay? So again, make sure you're clear with even what I have here is I'm trying to show that the cool air falls, the hot air rises. So if, if I said, where's the hot air? The hot air should be up top in the house. The cold air should be down at the bottom. Other examples of convection, weather, water currents, okay, in the ocean, ocean currents. These all follow a convection cycle, 
All right. You probably have heard of convection ovens. They use the same idea where they heat the food underneath and basically then it kind of goes through it and comes back down uh, it, as you know, it comes back, it kind of pushes back down into the food as well after it rises up. All right. So convection, the key here is it's a circular flow of heat. It's basically remaining in one general area and it's the air is moving around in a circle. All right. That one we have to make clear, and I mean, the other thing I can put it with is convection is circular. I know conduction is C as well, but the last one we have to talk about is radiation. Radiation is the third form of heat transfer, all right? And for radiation, this is where heat travels over a distance. Now you might be going, how's that different from convection? Because convection is moving over a distance. Radiation is, low, is, not, necess, is not circular, okay? Radiation is the idea that the sun heats the earth through radiation. So this would be radiation, this would be the heat. That heat from the sun is traveling all the way to the earth through radiation. If it was convection, what would happen is basically it would just keep on coming back to the sun as it cools because it's closest or whatever. I mean, I'm, I don't know. But convection, again, we're looking at convection, we've got to be careful. It stays in one area and just stays in a circle. Radiation, it's traveling over a distance. All right. So this would be examples would be, as we already said, the sun. It would be heating by a fire. OK, you can't touch fire, fire light and Energy is not a tangible substance, it's not, they're not matter, okay? So you can't touch fire, but if you have a fire burning, it'll produce heat that you might feel farther away, okay? So sun, fire, uh, I mean, any sort of basically like um, heat source that then heats an entire room, okay? So that is radiation, and that's basically it. Okay, so the three types we just talked about, we got conduction, keyword there is touch, all right, we got convection, going back to convection, convection is circular, and then radiation is where it travels over a distance, and that's it, all right, thank you.